Hi, R1 students. We're back. This is not mid corona, but like almost in green phase corona. So here we are. I'm making videos. Um, so your third project is going to be landscape painting. So we're going to move on from drawing for a little bit and go to painting. And don't worry, like when I get back from maternity, we'll do like clay and stuff like that. Don't be freaking out like, oh, we're not going to do anything 3D. We will. Don't worry. So you're going to get one of these guys, one of these handouts. And basically what it says in step one is you will have to find a landscape picture. Um, in the past, as in last year, I had them just choose anything, like off the internet, whatever. But this year, because I'm mean, I want you to take the picture yourself or choose a picture that you've taken in the past, okay? It's really not that big of a deal. Like, y'all can go outside probably like today, tomorrow, next day, take a picture or I'm sure you've taken pictures of something outside at some point, okay? Just no people, just like land, sky, trees, all that good stuff. So the hard part of this, which the kids moaned and groaned about last year, is that you can only use the primary colors, black and white. So primary colors are, hopefully you know this, please tell me you know this, red, yellow, and blue. Okay, red, yellow, blue, black, and white. That's it. If you need a purple shade, guess what? You're gonna need to mix colors to get it. And to make this a little bit easier on you, I have put a little chart here of how to get certain colors. Even brown, you guys. I know I'm not letting you use brown, but browns are really easy to make. So you'll be fine. If you can't th get the exact shade of color that you're looking for, it's not going to be a big deal. No one's going to know except for you that it's the wrong shade. So first thing is to get a picture. This is one where you don't really need to print it out. You can just have it on your phone. That's perfectly fine. Um, the one I used, I took in Ireland when I went there for my honeymoon. Let me find that real quick. You know what? I'm not prepared. Give me a moment. Found it. So the picture I used is this guy for my example. And this is what I got. So, um, Basically, your first step when you, you know, want to start painting this, well, you're going to need to first choose your canvas size. Now, this canvas has these edges here. You don't need to choose a canvas like that. You can get one of these thinner ones that doesn't have that much of a lip compared to this one. It's up to you. It's a completely personal preference. Um, but once you've chosen your canvas, I'm going to be doing my demo on this one because it has like a little bit of white paint here. That way I'm not using a completely pristine canvas and wasting one. Um, your first step is to sketch it on here. So you're going to do that with just a pencil, just plain old pencil. Um, and basically... It's not you're, like it's not supposed to be super detailed or anything. You just need to get like the general shapes that you're using, and I'll show you how to do that. So don't mind my fat belly. So this is my image. Basically, you want to have this somewhere near where you're drawing. So I have this line right here my horizon line where these um, mountains are. And that doesn't need to be perfect. Like you can make it like, you don't need to get every bump and 
you know, pill completely correct. Just like the general kind of whatever. And then we have this guy, which is like in the middle. We're gonna make that. And if you mess any of this up, it's fine. You can literally, like, if you want to erase it while you're drawing, you can, but you can wait until you start painting. And honestly, once you've done that, you can just paint over anything you don't like. What I am going to tell you is do not paint over the entire thing. Please do not ruin your life and make it harder by doing that. I know it's frustrating sometimes when, you know, things don't work out, but I can promise you that painting over the whole thing is just going to make you have to work on it even longer. So if you do get frustrated, if you're making mistakes, just take a break. If you need to paint over that certain spot, paint over that certain spot. Um, but do not paint over the whole thing. Oh my gosh, please don't do it. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, so you guys already saw my example. And mine is not 100% exactly like the picture. That's okay. You can, like, make it look, how, not make it look however you want. You want it to look like your reference image. But it's okay if it's not, if your shades aren't the same. It's, it's all about, basically, this one is about mixing and trying to get our colors close to where they're supposed to be. Okay? And then you want to, I will show you one. This is a student's. So, bottom left-hand corner, you always want to put your name. And so this is one example from last year. This is another. Always put your name, bottom left-hand corner. You can also add the year if you want. That's up to you. So I wouldn't make these, when you choose your canvas, don't get one that's like too big because that is just going to take you longer. Also, don't get one that's like too small because that's not fair if you're being able to paint something that someone has like two times bigger. It's obviously not going to take you as long. So go for like a medium size. It doesn't matter if you do like an edge or not. That's completely up to you. Um, but I think that is all um you'll all be getting your last year they didn't do this but you'll all be getting your own paint palettes this year with a lid so my advice to you would be to make sure your lid is on when you put it in your drawer that way if you have a certain shade of like if you have a certain shade of green or something that you is perfect and you don't want to make it again, and you've got to leave, like the bell just rang, put your lid on, you'll have it tomorrow, okay? Um, that's the main reason I wanted to, got, to give you guys your own palettes, because I know it's frustrating to like work, 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 and get this um, shade that you needed so badly, and then you finally get it, and it's time to leave. So um, definitely do that. Um, you'll also be getting your own brushes. So... Make sure you keep those clean. You're not getting another set. Like, if you ruin them, you have to use the yucky ones that middle school has to use. So just take care of your stuff. I promise you everything will be okay. <laughs> it's kind of, it's a little overwhelming, but compared to grid drawing, I feel like this is going to be cake. All right, guys. Have fun.